Good morning. Hey guys, it is now Tuesday and I don't know if I'm posting this vlog, um, the vlog of me doing my hair last night. It was a really random vlog. So if I already posted it, you guys will see it in the description box below. But I am wearing the same shirt from last night because I just woke up and I wanted to show you guys day two hair if I posted that vlog. But I'll give you guys all the details of my hair. But I love how it came out. I'll show you guys what products to use and everything. Really, Milo? Good morning. Hello. How are you? Oh, way too bright here. Okay, so I'm gonna be making some breakfast, and if my face is super oily, it's because my skin was a little bit dry. So I like drench myself in like it's kind of like shea butter. Um, it's really good for like getting rid of scars. So I just like drench my face in that, and then I put a Milani lip mask. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Thank God I have all this hair. No, okay, nice. <laughs> I can save my life. Can't wait. He needs a haircut, so he's hiding. Okay, breakfast time. Our breakfast time. You said that you needed me. Like a car. You would honestly think nobody lives here. What is going on? What is going on right now? Clearly, here's a before. Here is the after. I have a kitchen counter again. Now I can finally make some breakfast. And this little guy is already sleeping. He's sleeping. Hey guys, let me just give you guys a little update. So, okay, so originally yesterday I was supposed to film a Mass Monday video and that was the plan, but I was just not having a good makeup day, so I just wasn't having it. So I did film like half of the video and then I just didn't like how the footage looked, so I rinsed off the deep conditioner and here we are again today. This is what my hair looks like. I just styled it because... I actually have to reshoot a video for a brand. It was a sponsored video, so I have to reshoot the video. It's a makeup look. So I don't know how I feel about my hair like this, you guys. It literally has no product in it. I just did my signature half up, half down, just to see if it looks, you know, like if it will look nice. But I still have to lay my edges because right now we're looking kind of like what a big forehead. But I don't know. What do you guys think about like this super natural, wild look? Ooh, I'm like still adjusting. Maybe when I do my makeup and everything, you'll look nice. Ooh, let me do my edges with you guys on camera because I feel like I never do that because I'm like always eating the mirror. But let's just do a little, a little something something here just so that my hair could look a little bit more put together. Do you see that? That already made a difference. Like the hair is wild, but the front is going to be nice and tamed. And then after, I'm going to rinse this off and we'll do a mask Monday because my hair still needs to get deep conditioned and I wanted to have that up and running for you guys today because it's Tuesday. I'm a day late, but I think we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to post it because I have to do this makeup video and makeup videos take a while for me to do. So I don't know if I'll be able to like edit it. Oh, and I have to edit the video, so yeah we are back and my hair looks much better because it was a little too frizzy for my liking i was like yeah no that's not gonna work so here's what i did my little top knot bun it's a little bit more fluffy i actually have to take this little guy out i was adding some of these to see if i liked it but i wasn't a fan i put too much and i'll just keep it plain and simple it's really fluffy it's like really fluffy because you guys saw how frizzy my hair was but this is the look that we are going with today i actually have so much to organize you guys my drawers are full of stuff and i need to declutter them and i also just found a bunch of new stuff that i didn't even know i had i just found a whole bunch of alamar lashes i was never really into lashes and now i am and i just realized that they had sent me lashes a while ago oops so I got four different lashes. They're all wearable. They're definitely something I would wear. 
So I might put them on today in today's makeup looks. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do for filming, how I set up. I'm just gonna moisturize my face really quick because I'm pretty dry. I already started on this brow, by the way. That's why it looks like that. But I'm gonna use the Clinique Moisture Surge Serum. I love this stuff. I didn't even know I had an eye serum, so that's what I put on my eyes. This is really good because my skin was dry, and that was the issue. My makeup wasn't looking good yesterday because my skin was super duper dry so i'm gonna make sure that i have a bunch of moisturizer on my face today because we do not want to have dry skin when your skin is dry your makeup just sits more cakey and i don't like that so good thing is this is just gonna be a one minute video so i don't need to show like all of my makeup steps for this so let me put some more on my forehead this stuff is good, by the way. This Moisture Surge line is definitely one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. It's so funny because I feel like in my vlogs lately, I've just been showing you guys my skincare products. And I look so funny because I literally started this brow. And then I got the call from my manager saying I needed to refilm. So, good thing I didn't do my makeup because this has to be a makeup video. So, I literally use this stuff so much. This is a travel size one. This is the Laneige sleeping mask, by the way. This is the travel size one, and it's literally empty. Like, I use this all the time, every day, multiple times a day, because I have really dry lips, and I try to hydrate as much as I can. I use this stuff literally every single day. I have, like, nothing left. Face cream, we're going with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Cream. Again, I'm trying to use as many hydrating products as possible because... That was the issue yesterday. My face was just dry, like I said, and I needed moisture. So this is pretty much how I prep for a makeup video. Sometimes if it's like for YouTube, I'll do this on camera with you guys. But since it's just an Instagram video, I don't need to show the skincare products because that just makes the video much longer. I was going to show you guys how I do my Mask Monday videos or just like a hair video, but I guess today will be makeup video and then I'll just give you guys a run through of the background how I set everything up what I do okay I feel so much better you guys oh all right so let me give you guys a little quick run through of the setup and what I got going on here this brow is bothering me Ooh, You, so yeah, I'm just quickly doing this brow really quick. I know I'm all up in your face, guys. I'm sorry. The reason for that being is because I have a 22 millimeter lens, and it, it's not a zoom in or zoom out lens. So that's why you guys are always all up in my face. But I'll just leave you guys right here. There we go. We're not so close anymore. For my brows today, I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Blade, my all-time favorite. That's literally what I use all the time. And I didn't use it yesterday. That's probably why I was having a bad brow day because I didn't use this product. I was like trying to be fancy and try something else. And that's what happens when I try to be fancy. I'm pretty messy when it comes to doing my brows. So that's why I always have to like clean them up. But... All right, so this should do for now. They're not even, I need to carve them out, but for now this should work because I want to give you guys like a little tour before I get ready to film. My parents are actually coming to say hi. I'm going to go downstairs to see them. I'm so happy. All right, so here's pretty much the setup. It's a makeup video, so I like to just lay out my products that I'm going to be using here for the most part. And then I have some extra backups here. I have my drawer that I can just go back and reach in. Since it is a makeup video, I, it's going to be for Instagram. I'm not going to be talking, so I still will have my show playing in the background just to like you know just it's like a therapeutic session for me so um, I lay everything out here what's pretty much on my desk is my vanity mirror which I absolutely love this because it rotates all around and it also goes up and down which is really convenient when doing my makeup absolutely love this mirror this is from Amazon so I will try to link it if I find it I always have water because I'm always thirsty so I always just have this with water tea or coffee I always have something to drink here and over here is where I keep all of my makeup brushes face brushes eye brushes and face sponges just so that it's easy access I've been doing my makeup a lot more often on camera so I just have this out in display so it's easy for me to just grab it while I'm doing my makeup and then here I have this little guy which is just my phone holder 
I always have my phone here just so I can see what time it is. Anybody calls me, easy accessible. I use it to keep it on this side just so I can see everything. And then this little tray, I usually put my rings and stuff in if I'm doing a hair video or my extra memory cards um, in case like I run out of memory space while filming. And then lately I've been using my iPad to connect to my camera. And I actually want to show you guys something so cool that I just got this like smart plug from Amazon and look. I can turn on all of my lights from my phone. How amazing is that? So it turns on these lights, these lights, this light, and this light. The only light it doesn't turn on is the center light because I need to actually manually go over there and do it. But it's so cool because they're all on my phone and I can choose which one I want to turn off. If I want to turn off my filming lights, I can. If I want to turn off my vanity lights, I can so it's really cool really easy to just go in and just turn everything on so that I'm ready to film so I'll do that before filming loyal to me oh my parents are here okay, I'm back my parents just came to drop off some fruits and it was so cute I miss them they used to come to my house a lot and now this like whole social distancing thing is so annoying because I can't see my parents I can't see my nieces and nephew and I can't really see my sisters I mean we FaceTime obviously but like in person they didn't get to come upstairs, they stayed downstairs. But at least I got to see them, so. But yeah, oh, I think I, I stopped with the whole lenses. I was telling you guys what camera I use, so let's go back into that. So I use the Canon T7i, I got this about a year ago. This is the latest lenses that I just got. This is from Sigma, it's the 18 through 35 millimeter lens. So it is a zoom in lens. I didn't have like a good quality zoom in lens. So I just got this one. I'm obsessed with it. And then I also have other cameras here that I also use to film sometimes or like to take pictures. But this is the other guy that I really, really love and I use all the time. But this one isn't a zoom in lens. This is a 35 millimeter lens from Sigma as well. And it fits on my Canon. But the quality is really, really good. It's a 1.4 aperture. So it gives me a really good blurred out background. While this one is a 1.8. So the black one, it doesn't get as blurry as the 1.4 but it still gives me like a really good background for the distance that I'm at I'm literally right next to it so it gives me a good blurred out effect these lights I got from Amazon this one and this one it came in a pair and then this one I got from B&H let me just turn this on I want to finish this makeup look before the sun start before the sun starts to set it's currently four o'clock right now so I have a good amount of window to work with but when it comes to makeup and blending I take forever so that is a really good one that I would say it takes me about two to three hours to film a makeup look sometimes because I stop I like I'm watching stuff and I get distracted and I start talking I'm gonna push for like an hour today max because I do want to film my Mass Monday video, blah, blah, whatever, yeah. So you guys, you guys already know that. So let's talk about connection and what I use to connect to my camera. So recently I've been using my iPad Pro. This is like the second generation because it still has the home button and the really big screen. I love this. I used to use this iPad a lot for school when I was in college and now I just use it for my monitor now. So I have the Canon Connect app. Let me just turn on the camera and... It is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth camera, which is really, really cool. So it just makes it easy for me to just mirror. I have this little stand, by the way. I got it from Amazon. I'll try to link everything that I mentioned in the description box. Ah! I need to get a new one. This is the iPad holder that I use, but because my iPad is big and I like it at a certain angle, I just ordered another one that it kind of cuffs it in place so I can, like, bring it all the way low because I just like it to be, you know, like, straight and not with, like, the glare. So I use the Canon Connect app and the first thing that I do is I connect it to, this is kind of hard to hold, okay, there we go. I connect it to the Wi-Fi of the camera, so I named mine to Chelly T7i, I don't know if you guys can see that right here. Oh, it's in manual focus, there we go. Yes, so this is the one that I connect to. I just named it so I know, and then once it gives me the little check mark, ah, oh, I just changed it, hold on. Once it gives me that little blue check mark, that means that it's connected. And then all I do is I open the Canon Connect app, which this is what it looks like. This is a little logo. If you have a Canon camera with Wi-Fi, you should totally try this out because it's so convenient. So now it's going to say Connect and Establish on the camera. And then I just go to Remote Live Shooting and there I am. Hey, it's a little delayed at first, but then like it starts to like pick up. 
The latest addition that I've added to this is these little lights right here. I had extra ones from Christmas time that I never used for my little Christmas tree. So I just put them here and I really like how it looks on camera because there's just like a subtle... Oh, you can't see it. Okay, so I have to adjust my camera. See, this is why it's important to just like look at things. But I want the lights to be a little bit more... Like I want them to be more visible. So I'm going to just adjust it and then I'll get to filming. Specifically back here for this new backdrop that I have going on here you can see all of this if you look here you can totally just see the mess that I have back here so what I do is I just put it on the floor so that you guys can't see that while I'm filming desk is clear background looks nice and clean because this is a makeup video I am gonna be zooming in my lenses I lower the camera down so you guys can see the lights a little bit more I'm actually pretty zoomed in yeah so this is what it looks like zoomed out and then zoomed in for a makeup look would be more like this. So I just have to play around with where I'm going to be the whole video. And what I really like about this app is that you can literally just like adjust anything you want in the video. So you can control the aperture, you can control how bright you want it to be, that it's autofocus and you can tap it just to make sure that you're always centered or the subject that's there. So if I'm doing like a product shot, shot I can just tap it here to make sure that it's focused. If I want the background to be the center or if I want myself like it's so cool because everything is touch cream it's like you're doing everything on the camera but you have it on a bigger screen and it's more accessible before I used to stand up and like do it manually and it was a pain in the butt because sometimes I wasn't recording and I didn't know but here it lets me know if I'm recording or not so totally recommend this app if you guys have a Canon camera I know Sony has one as well. I just haven't played around with it as much, but I've been loving Canon. Canon is just like my go-to. So if you have a Canon with Wi-Fi, then you can totally use this app and it'll make your life so much easier. You can also take pictures. I need to change it on the, I need to change the setting on the camera, but I can also take pictures for like thumbnails and stuff. So it's great. It's great. I love this app so much. But this is pretty much it. This is pretty much how I set up for a video. And it's pretty simple because I have all the equipment already out because I have this as a designated filming room. Before I used to take everything down and put it away because I didn't like clutter. But it was stopping me from making more content because I would just think about opening the table, putting up the lights, connecting the camera. So it was just like, I was like, this is too much work. So I just leave it out and I've been switching my backdrops just to do, you know, to keep it fun and entertaining for myself because I get bored with like the same backdrop. This is the backdrop you guys usually see in my videos. This guy right here. And I love that background, but I like this one as well. And I also did one where I'm like in the middle of these two. So that's a really cool backdrop as well. I want to shoot in this corner right here too because it gives me like the nice environmental... I'm very much so into the environmental backdrop right now and there's so many corners in this room alone that I can play with. I also want to shoot in my bedroom. I want to shoot in my office room, which I have a tour coming up on that because I finally like deep clean it and it's ready to be like filmed. So I will show you guys my office tour, but there's a lot of nice spaces there as well that I would like to film in. So yeah, that's pretty much the setup. Well, I'm going to start filming this makeup video for Instagram and I'll see you guys when I look a little bit more alive and put together. So. See you guys in the next Finally, we are back. You guys have no idea how long it took me to do this. <sighs> like, it took me a very long time. But I like the way it came out. This is the look. I went with pink today because the palette I had to use had pink in it, so I love it. I am dying it to take this bun off, you guys. You guys can't tell, but it's been a couple hours. It's now closer to 7. I'm like practicing in makeup, but it doesn't come out good all the time. So it takes a long time for me to just like get used to it and blend. So I was having a hard time blending. But I'm dying to take this off. Hold on, guys. Oh, my goodness. I, like, put so much gel in the front of my hair that I'm probably going to have to give myself, like, a quick little wash before doing the mask Monday. But I really like this makeup look. So I did film it for Instagram. Sorry, here we go with the weird angles again. All I have to do now is just film the product shots, which I didn't get to do because I didn't... Like, usually when you bring up the product, sometimes, like, it messes with the quality and messes with the lighting. So... I have just been doing them individually. 
I need to like, do you guys see this gel? I put Eco Styler gel just to really slick my hair back, but hold on. So now because I have this makeup look already, I want to keep it. I'm going to do the mask one day with this makeup look. So while I'm deep conditioning, I'll be doing the product shots. This is what my dress looks like every single time. A disaster. So before doing my hair video, I'm definitely going to like clean this up and get everything, you know, nice and clean. The mission now is to give myself a quick little co-wash just to get all of this out of my hair and then try to detangle my hair just so that when I'm doing my mask Monday is going to be a little bit easier. But I had this bun on for like three hours. Again, it's now like 7.30. I started at 4.00. I messed up my makeup look about three times. I usually start with eyeshadows. I was having a hard time just not, I didn't know what look to create. So I was like just playing around with different things. I didn't like how it looks and everything that I do, I really do, you know, even though I'm starting with makeup and I'm not like a professional, I still want to put out good content. Like I still want it to be a nice wearable makeup look and it's color. So I usually never wear color on my eyes. I'm more of like a warm tone. I do like pink colors, but this one's like really bi vibrant. So it was kind of like a challenge for me to just like figure out what I was going to do. But I think I made it work and I like the eye look. All right. Enough rambling. This video is already pretty long. Let me go co-wash my hair. I'll show you guys how I set up for hair, which is not much different. And then we'll just end this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So pink robe is on. I just put it on because it matches my eyeshadow. I have pink eyeshadow on today. Now I have to pick up a deep conditioner. Actually, yeah, so I'm going to do this guy right here. So you guys are going to see this review and what I think about it. I'm going to get started on filming that. So I am going to be ending this vlog here. If you guys enjoy this style of vlog, let me know if you guys like to see like a little behind the scene moment and like what, you know, goes on. Even though I did show you guys like, you know, it looks like what I do, what apps I use. I hope that's helpful to you guys in case you want to start your own YouTube channel. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to add buy all these lights or fancy cameras at all well i mean my cameras are not really that fancy but um you don't have to invest in all that you can get like good lighting that's affordable i will try to link some of the lights that i used in the description box below because i also use a ring light sometimes so i do alternate that and i got everything from amazon so i will try my best to link everything below and i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope it was helpful and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my mask monday video Bye.